Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Wednesday Night Live. I'm your host, the cigar blogger, Daryl Moore. And I'm so glad you're here with me. I'm so glad you are here with me to clear the air. I'm gonna do a little house calling, house cleaning in a minute. I wanna welcome each and every one of you, people in the bushes, people that don't like me, people that like me, people that support me, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, let's see who we got here. El Maria, El Maria, how you doing? Uh, Philly Mommy, how you doing? Let me see your transcript. Aaron, CA, Ava, Keisha, Lewis, Dazzle Me, Please Productions, Angela, Betty, Mad Church Disease, Ebony, oh, Angela again, Ebony again, Agatha. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? If you haven't done so already, please click like and share. I'm about to get started. I ain't gonna hold you long. I'm gonna give you a good sermon on the mountain. We're gonna be up out of here. Uh, been a crazy week. Crazy couple of days. And... I've always been the type of person to say the truth doesn't need ex any explanation. If you're telling the truth, you don't have to defend it. You don't have to explain it. But I've learned uh, the hard way. I've learned a valuable life lesson that some cases it does. I've also learned that uh, I have to make things very clear. What I say and what I do reflect me and me only. They don't reflect Marcellus, Kim, or Roxanne. But I've also had to realize that because people are, equate us as being the A-team, that whatever I do in public, it's going to reflect on them some kind of way and vice versa. And because of that, a lot of times I've had to sit on my hands and take stuff that I really didn't want to take because I know if I had lashed out and went in and dealt with it the way I wanted to, it would have uh, had a negative impact on the rest of the 18. But there comes a time when you have to put yourself first and do what's right for you. And if it hurts somebody in the process, you have to apologize and try to make amends. And uh, I owe Kim an apology, I owe Roxanne an apology, and I owe Marcellus an apology for everything that I put them through. Um, it was never my intention to hurt them or upset them or put them in harm's way with, with evil people. I'm sorry. Uh, but I have been accused of being a liar. I'm just going to cut to the chat. I've been accused of being a liar and a thief. Now, I may be a lot of things, but a liar and a thief, I am not. So let's let's deal with some situations real quick. Um, anybody that's tried to call me or reach me in the last two days, I've been very busy. I am not ignoring you. Um, I will get to you probably tomorrow because uh, after I do this, I'm going to go to sleep tonight. Uh, my head has just been been all over the place. My parents always told me before you say or do anything, think about it, pray about it, wait on God for the answer. So that's what I've done. I wanted to address this last week, but I had to think on it. I had to pray on it. And then I also had to calm myself down. So when I was first sued, I raised money to cover my legal fees. I did that. 
I paid the lawyer. People say, oh, well, that's not what's on PACER. The, the lawyer said you didn't pay him. And all of that. Dale, you stole the money. You're a liar. You can't be trusted. Okay. My former attorney and I came to an understanding. Well, we had words. We, had, we came to some words. Uh, he felt that uh, I needed to go get a bigger law firm because he's a one-man show. And uh, I needed a larger law firm to help me with my situation. And I wasn't pleased with the way things were going. So we had a mutual agreement after we came to some words. And uh, that's what happened. He petitioned the court to have him relieved, removed from uh, representing me. And the judge never made that decision. So as a matter of record, he was still considered my attorney. So while all of that was going on behind the scenes, uh, the list got submitted to the courts of doing, we were about to enter discovery phase of who I was going to be subpoena and calling to uh, testify. And we never got the uh, list from the other side. But when they looked and saw who I was calling and what I was going to be saying in court, all of a sudden there was a mediation offer put on the table. Not by me, the other side. So, oh, that's not, oh, he won the case. He beat you. I, I didn't say nothing. I just, you know, it is what it is. I could come out with a thousand documents. Uh, some of you got dislike me so much that I could look up, and you could be looking up in the sky with me and I could say the sky is blue. And you say, no, it's not, it's red. Just because it's coming from me, you're going to argue. So I didn't argue. I let it go. and Because I've always believed that the truth going to always come out. The truth doesn't need defending or explaining. And when you're dealing with people that are uneducated and hateful and vengeful, uh, nothing you ever say is going to be the truth. So let me debunk one thing real quick. Uh, I supposed to have not paid my attorney. Okay. Uh, there's the receipt. If you look at the bottom, you'll see where I paid $1,000. And there was another $500 added to handle um, the expense of the mediation. There it is. And as you can see, it was dated June of last year. June of 2021. We are, here it is, February 2021. I paid. I have a balance. And I have a balance that I'm going to be responsible for. And I'm not asking any of you. You notice I, I'm, I have not been asking you for any funds to cover that situation. That case is over. It's done with. I'm responsible for the outstanding balance. Whatever it may be, it's none of your business. I, I did pay my lawyer. I don't care what Pacer says and all that stuff y'all read. I, that's a receipt. That's an invoice. I paid that. I will deal with the other issues offline. I'm not. I'm not here to discuss that. I know what I did. I'm not. I've never been a liar. I've never come out here lying to any of you. I'm not gonna start now. I've never been a liar, and I never stole from anybody. I am not the one that's been accused of stealing. You try to put that on me. Mm -mm. I don't steal, and I don't lie. May do a lot of stuff, but stealing and lying ain't two of them. Uh, people over there gone, took a field day with it. I just ignored it. I just ignored it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. But then it came over to this side. And there was people that made statements. Well, I don't believe, I don't but I don't believe Daryl telling the truth. Uh, well, I'm going to ask him. Well, no, don't ask him because all he's going to do is lie to you anyway. But let me tell you something. And I'm going to choose my words real, real, real nice. If you believe the people over there who've lied from day one over me, who's never lied to you, I don't want your support. I don't want you to subscribe to me. I definitely don't want you to be my friend. So if that's how you feel about me and you've been holding that in for a while, do us both a favor, unsubscribe, lose my phone number, delete my email, block me on social media, 
go your merry way. I am not a thief or a liar. So if let, let's, let's just make it plain for you. If you believe the words of a group of people, and I'm not saying no names, uh, a person that's been a prostitute, got arrested for prostitution in a parking lot, male prostitute. If you believe the word of a mentally ill person that tried to kill themselves, that stalks people and hangs out at their jobs, if you believe the word of a church, a temple whore, going from preacher to preacher, if you believe people that have been arrested for forgery, uh, money laundering, been to prison, violent crimes, uh, people that have been arrested for violent crimes, writing bad checks, uh, person that talks about themselves in third person, uh, somebody that believes that they got their fingers and toes and stuff cut off as a child and they grew back. Uh, retards, rejects, mental ill people. If you believe all of those people, child molesters, child rapists, sexual people that have committed sex crimes against children, uh, people that have committed sex crimes against their relatives. If you believe those types of people over me, I say to you, from the depths of my sanctified soul, you go to hell and don't come back. If you believe those type of people over me, you, you don't, you never been my friend. You're not to be trusted. You're not to be respected. I don't want you around me. Deuces. What do I, why would I put myself through the, what I went through for the last two years? All while I was working in school full time, dealing with my father dying, everything you can think of going wrong in my life and bring on a lawsuit and people attacking me day and night. If you think I, I, I took on all of that just so I could come out here and lie and you tell me I stole some money. When I work, y'all know I work all day, every day. I just got off work. Six, seven hustles at a time. And you think I stole some money? My name and reputation will not be tarnished by a lie. Just because I was quiet doesn't mean I was guilty of anything. I chose to ignore what was being said about me. I chose to just go on about my business. Nobody, please click like and share, nobody will accuse me of stealing or accuse me of being a liar and be telling the truth. I ain't got nothing to hide. That was a receipt, not from me. But of course, some fool will come out and say, oh, it's Photoshop. You made that up. Whatever. Whatever. Get on the phone. See, I don't put documents up on Pacer. That, that last document that they sent over to me talking about I was in violation or whatever. What I did, hold on, hold on. Robert. Robert. Y'all hold on. I got something for you. Robert. Yeah. Come here, son. Those documents right there. Those documents at the bottom of the printer. Give them here, please, sir. Right there, that, that, that stack of white paper. No, no, down there. I got you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, see that right there? I'm going to put it in close while I'm talking to you. That is the court. That is the fax number to the court. January 14th. January 14th. I sent 10 pages. 10, count them. 10 pages to the judge and the magistrate. 
I sent, all of this also went to YouTube, you know, explaining all of what the harassment I was dealing with, sent the, everything I sent. I sent uh, uh, this document, Knockout Media, where he posted on his YouTube wall, telling uh, people how to contact the court. So I did the same thing. I said, hey, they're harassing me. I need y'all to uh, speak up on my behalf. I sent that to YouTube, uh, uh, along with the police report that I filed. It gets better, though. Y'all sit tight. I don't know who keep blowing my phone up, but I'm not responding. Uh, oh, but, but see, yeah, I sent. OK. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thumbs up. You know who y'all. Uh, let me tell you something. The only reason I didn't upload this to Pacer, see, you're not required. Let me explain something to you. You're not required to use Pacer. You can send the stuff directly to the court and along the clerk of the court stamp it. See, this got faxed and sent certified mail to the court. I don't use Pacer. Niggas use Pacer. When they want to discuss stuff, I sent mine to the judge himself and his clerk. So it's stamped and received. I got a receipt over there. I sent certified mail and I faxed. So I sent a three page response that all of my moderators got a copy of to read. So can y'all verify that I did send y'all the copy? Can y'all just put a one in the chat, please? Because I'm not going to read that document. And I also sent over a copy to the judge that email correspondence between me and the other person's lawyer. So yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm not going back and forth with people. They keep lying on me. Thank you, legit doctor. So I, I know I don't be lying. See, I ain't never lied to you and I ain't gonna start. But I did send this email chain, you know, all these emails. You know, when, when he basically told, uh, he said about the uh, the parking lot thought that that boy has lost his effing mind. Yeah, the judge got all that. So haven't you wondered why all of a sudden videos disappeared and got taken down? One, we flagged and reported them. Two, the judge enjoined him to the lawsuit set, uh, mediation. Why? Because he works for the person that sued me. So he can't talk about me no more. That's why this crazy boy that tried to kill himself last year in Texas has been out here windmilling for him. So everybody you can see in the comments, it's a one. So everybody got the document that I've sent to the court. That's, ladies and gentlemen, is how you deal with stuff offline. I'm not going to go back and forth with nobody. I don't have the time, the talent, or the energy to waste on foolishness. I don't cast my pearls before swine. I'm not out here dealing with a bunch of retards. I'm an educated black man. I mean that. But see, when, when you come out and you try to say I'm a liar and a thief, Oh, you went too far then. I sent all that stuff, complete with a thumb. Uh, uh, uh. The one thing I didn't send the moderators. When I sent this over a certified mail, I, I let them know that uh, a thumb drive was in the packet. So they plugged it in and they saw all these videos about me and how I've been harassed. And then people started writing the judge explaining how I was harassed by employees, supporters of the other side. And then I'm supposed to sit on my hand and not say nothing. But guess what? The videos came down. Well, I ain't, so to save face, well, I took the videos down. No, you didn't. YouTube took them down. But before YouTube took them down, they, they, it, was in, it was informed that it would behoove you as an employee, sir, of the plaintiff to leave the defendant the hell alone. 
So you got your, your uh, suicide squad boy down in Texas windmilling for you now because you can't windmill no more. But everybody, everybody thinks, oh, Daryl lost the case. Daryl got beat. No, I didn't lose shit. I wasn't the one to request the mediation because what caused the mediation to take place is what's in these pages of this three-page document right here. I'm going to. I'm gonna do like my daddy real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just peruse over a few, few, few of the high points, not too much, because it ain't none of your business for those in the bushes. It says basically top line, in good faith, I have attempted to honor the mandate set forth in the mediation and take down all videos about the plaintiff that were on social media. However, on the other hand, the other side had no intention of honoring the mediation. The employee, and I named the employee, continues to slander and attack me publicly. And I attached the email thread as evidence. Even the, the attorney for the other side said he's lost his effing mind. I've even stated, I showed video evidence where the plaintiff was on the show of the employee less than 24 hours before the mediation got my signature, bragging about the victory and how they had been working together over a year or so. You know, and I supplied evidence in other court cases where they said they barely knew each other. But you've been working together for the last year or two. I know he's live streaming. That's fine, because I got something for him. I got something for him. Hey, little tardy boy, I got something for you. I got something for you, though. I got something special for you. I got something special for you. Got something special for you. Mm -hmm. I got something special for you. Any day now. I said, this video, and I put the link, is evidence, boom, to, to my uh, accusation. Uh, all the videos I was supplied of the working relationship on the other side. And I said, in case the videos get deleted, here's the, uh, a copy that I downloaded from these channels. And I said, they're using the courts to bully and silence anyone who exposes things that they don't want to become public. Then I went on to name who I was going to subpoena. Uh, and I name names in this three page document. I will not do that, but my uh, because that be something I don't feel I should be doing on a public platform. But I name names in these three pages of who I was gonna call, what they've done, what they've been accused of doing, and who they who they accuse of doing it to them. And when I submitted this certified mail. And facts, then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, everybody had to come to Jesus moment. Everybody wants to deal with things offline and, and get, get rid of it and push it away. But then I agreed to do that and everybody wanted to come out and still attack me and thought I was going to take it. And then what happened, people, uh, People, oh, if he's over there live streaming now, flag the living shit out of him. And when I get off, I'm, I'm reporting him for copyright infringement. Flag and report him every time he do it. Every time he do it. Every time he do it. So see, the reason, the only reason I'm even addressing this now, and I put the receipt up showing that I did, in fact, pay my attorney with the money that was given to me by my supporters, the only reason I'm doing that is because, like I said when this show started, anything I do or don't do has an impact, whether it be positive or negative, on the rest of the 18. And see, we're doing something real special because people don't believe fat means is greasy and they don't believe shit stinks. So what we are doing, ladies and gentlemen, $20.88 $20.88. I'm not handling the money. 
Marcellus is handling the money. That is his cash app at the top of that thumbnail. I am not handling any money. For those of you who think I'm stealing and not going to do right and all that, guess what? Newsflash, I'm not touching a dime. Marcellus is handling all the funds. Marcellus is handling all the offline situations. It is going to a legal fund. We're going to deal with cyber bullies offline. I am not privy to the funds. I, I, and for people that have been sending it, saying it's for the, sending me money, I've immediately forwarded it over to Marcellus for him to deposit it and do as he needs to do so that we can get the work done. The only reason I'm out here talking like this tonight is because I've been accused of something I haven't done, and that is being a thief and a liar. And I am not a thief and a liar. Marcellus is not a thief and a liar. Roxanne is not a thief and a liar. Kim is not a thief and a liar. So for them to accuse me of that, I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm sorry about that. I, uh, but yeah, the only reason I'm even addressing this is because if you accuse me of being a thief and a liar, that means you're going to think the rest of the 18 are thieves and liars. And I'm not a thief and a liar. And I'm not going to have that spill over onto them because it's not fair to them to accuse them of something just because you're mad at me, just because you don't like me. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you're mad at me. But what you will not do, now you can say, hey, I don't like Daryl. That's fine. I don't like you either, probably. But I will say this. I don't steal, and I ain't going to lie. And nobody in this A-team or nobody over here is stealing and lying either. And that spillover effect stops with me. Period. Period. That stops right here, right now. I didn't steal no money. I showed you a receipt. I, and I even went over this document because that's why these people are coming at me so hard. Because when they realized what I was about to do, then it was all of a sudden everybody had to come to Jesus moment. Everybody wanted peace in the valley. But all oh, before then, oh, we're going to do this. We doing this. We doing that. But then when I, not a we, but when I, dropped a list of the people that I was going to subpoena, then everybody all of a sudden stopped pumping their brakes. Because I was going to have all three accusers, family members, tax documents, bank statements, medical records, all brought into court. And everybody over there that was coming at me hard, the whole Motley crew was all going to get subpoenaed. Every last one of them. So when they realized I was a Really going to do that because in federal court, you can subpoena up to 25 people. And I had a full list of 25 that I was going to bring in to testify and be questioned in open court about what happened to them, who did it, and, and, what, and, and what was the result of it. Then I was going to have medical records laid out. Medical records. I'll say that again. I was going to have medical records subpoenaed. People from the state agency. Uh, that tried to notify certain people about certain situations, they were going to be called in the court. Bank statements, tax form 990s, IRS returns, all of it going to be laid out public from now until infinity. All of it. And I was just going to stand there and cross my arms because I didn't have nothing to hide. I ain't supply, I ain't applied for no PPP loans. 
I ain't, I ain't nobody accused me of, of no sexual uh, misconduct. Ain't nobody arrested me. Ain't nobody got no open uh, criminal investigation on me. I'm not the one. I'm not the one with outstanding warrants in other states. That ain't me. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. So when they saw I was serious, that's when the come to Jesus moment took place. But then they kept this whole net. Oh, Pacer says this and Pacer says that. He's lying. He hasn't paid any money. Yeah, that man did put that up there about me that I ain't paid him. But I just showed you a receipt showing that I did. I don't have to defend myself. I'm not lying. But the only reason I'm like, I'm going to say it again. The only reason I'm talking about this right now is because if you accuse me of being a liar and a thief, you're going to start accusing Roxanne, Kim, and Marcellus of the same thing. And that ain't flying with me. Because they're not. And neither am I. And see, we're going to deal with them people offline. So, again, Marcellus is the one handling the phone. So since you think, some of you think I'm a thief and a liar, even some of you over here think I'm a thief and a liar, send the money to Marcellus. You trust him. I would hope so. He hasn't lied or stole from you either. Neither have I. But you think, some of you think I have. But he hasn't. So send the money to him. He's going to handle everything. I'm not putting my hand on nothing. But uh, I ain't going to be here long, much longer. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get down here, cause the the slow boy thinking he can play my show live. But yeah, it's got. Let me show you how 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 deprived this 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 person is. As you know, I'm a notary. I do weddings. I notarize documents. I process serve. I do all that. Oh, now he want to call and talk to me on the phone. No, no, whatever. So, so yeah, he's going to call me from his Google voice number. Uh, Brian stooped so low today. He went on my business website, got my phone number, pretended to be a client that needed documents notarized here. Slow boy don't realize when you call somebody, your name pops up, even though it's Google voice, your name still pops up pretending that he had 20 documents to notarize and that he was going to notarize. Them. He needed them notarized. How much you try? I said, you know, I threw out a number. I said, I'll do it for $40. I'm already out in the street. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I'll send you my address and you come by. I'll go. I said, I can do it within an hour. Three hours later, I, I text him back. I call. It goes straight to the Google voice number. Then he don't answer, calls me back. He says, well, uh, I just have a question. Do you have a YouTube channel? Like, yeah, well, what does that have to do with my, my business? Well, I just saw some disturbing stuff on Google search where well, you're an older person harassing a younger man, da da this young man, da 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 I said, oh, and then I caught the voice. I said, oh, this ain't nothing but old Brian. Okay. So that's what he did. I'm out working today, three o'clock. This happened at three o'clock. This is what happened at three o'clock. This is how depraved their minds are over there. This boy thought this was something that he was cool for him to do. My YouTube channel is no is in no way linked to my business website. No, no way whatsoever. None. And I know he was recording it because he thought it was funny. I knew what it was going on. I just played along. Good deal. You like it, I love it. You pathetic. You failed at everything you've done in life. You even said it yourself. I ain't got no friends, no family. Hell, you you couldn't even get you couldn't even get suicide right. That's how big of a failure you are. All you gotta do is open your mouth and go, and it's over. But you couldn't even do that right. Gun probably jammed on you. I don't know. Didn't take enough pills. I don't know. But the point is. The levels y'all will go to try to tear me down is sad. When I go to sleep at night, I don't think about y'all. But y'all think about me when you wake up in the morning and when you lay down at night and all through the night while I'm resting. 
You're thinking about me and ways you can try to attack me. And I sat by and I just ignore it. Most of the time I ignore it or laugh. And, but then people over here started listening to that, some of them. Then you're like, well, I've done my research. Daryl is mad. That's why I put this title to this video. I'm not mad at anybody. I've, I've addressed what, how it needs to be addressed. Oh, he, I want to hope somebody called him a liar. Somebody called him a thief. Oh, I, he's mad at so-and-so. He's mad at so-and-so. He's mad. No. Tell me I did my research. Negro, you can't even spell research. You don't even know how to use research in a sentence. If you got a, a, a diploma with that special, uh, special ed stamp on it, you got a certificate of attendance. So trying to pass yourself off as intelligent is, is fruitless, waste of time. It's a total waste of time, brother. Just for what? What's the purpose? What is the purpose? What is the purpose? Yes, he uh uh. -huh. He pretended that he wanted to obtain my service. Called, went through my website. I respond, tell him what my rates are. We talk. Did all of that. And for what? I have a job. I'm self employed. I'm self employed. So. You know, I told you, I, I actually gave you a discount because normally if you got 20 documents, I charge $5 by Ohio law, $5 for each document that I notarize. So five times 20, that's $100 plus my travel fee is another $20. So technically I could have charged the person if it had been a real person, $120. But I was like, you know, $40, I just 20 and 20. I mean, you're pitiful. But the more you do stupid stuff like playing my lies, you're thinking you're getting away with it. You really aren't. You have no idea. You have no idea. And ladies and gentlemen, if you see this, flag and report, flag and report, flag and report. Videos have already been taken down. More were gone. And once he gets that third copyright strike, it's over and done. Well, I've already hit him with three copyright strikes. They're reviewing two. It's just a matter of time. But if you keep recording and, and flagging this video, YouTube is going to take action because I've contacted the legal department. I've contacted them on Twitter, all the social media platforms. Put this guy's link up. I'll say, are y'all going to continue to let this guy uh, harass and do violate your community guidelines? I said, is this going to be another Tasha K situation where somebody's going to have to sue you possibly to get your attention? So that's when the video started coming down. Yes, it's obsessed behavior. Anytime you go to somebody's job and you go on a rooftop across the street from the building and you're doing a live video pointing at a person's job or you go out in front of a person's car, you are a troubled individual. You're, you, you're off your meds. You're suicidal. You're already that proven to be violent because you challenged a person to a fight at a, at a parking lot of a Denny's. That's what you are. But like I said, again, I'm going to come back to the top. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who believe I'm a thief and a liar, if you're going to take the word of people that have been accused of sexual crimes against children, prostitution in a parking lot, male prostitution in a parking lot, fraud, money laundering, stealing, cheating on the taxes, being a temple whore, outstanding warrants in the state of Ohio, I could go on and on. Uh, people that are out here just doing crazy stuff, crazy stuff. People that wrote bad checks, got uh, arrest records for violent crimes. If you believe those people over my word, you're free to go. Go to my YouTube and wherever you subscribe to me yet, unsubscribe, unfriend me, block my number if you have it, block my email. Don't have nothing else to do with me. Because if you believe that group over this man right here, who has never lied to you 
And every time I come out, I got documents in my hand to prove what I'm saying. I don't need your time, your 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 cash app, nothing. I don't need nothing from you, but for you to turn your back and go far, far away and don't come back. I mean that from the bottom of my bottom of my two big feet, you can walk away. You look better going than you ever do come. Good people have been attacked and hurt because you evil bastards over there are trying to tear me down. Calling Kim's job, putting Kim's family on the internet, putting her home on the internet, contacting and making up lies about her. Her contacting Marcellus's place of uh, his nonprofit, doing stupid stuff. Doing stupid stuff. Because you ain't got the guts to come head on against me. Because you know I'll go toe to toe with you. Because you're cowards. You hide behind a keyboard. But you never think that for one second. Oh, and for just so you know, Brian, in order for me to file that police report against you, I had to have the necessary information. That's all I'm going to say for now. That means I have what I need to deal with you. You pitiful. Man. You talked about my children. My oldest son just got back from California. He was out there for two weeks shooting music videos and recording. What do you do? Sit in your apartment. Smoke weed on a live with your three support emotional support animals, and you do nothing. Can't get a job. If you get one, you can't keep it. Talk about him. Talk about my son, wait. Uh, talk about my other son. He's in school on a full scholarship, majoring in music, plays seven instruments. What do you do? What do you do? You talk about me. I'm proud of my children. Is your daddy and mama proud of you? I'll wait. Do you even know where they're at right now? I'll wait. I'll wait. So you much better off trying to go toe to toe with me than to bring talk about my children. On their worst day, they're 10 times better than you. Baby boy, he's going into construction. What do you do? I'll wait. I'll wait. Yep, the special needs sector. That's what that's y'all name. Y'all ain't the B sector. Y'all the special needs sector. One of y'all might have finished high school, maybe. Oh, by the way, uh Brian. I found your daddy. Gonna have an interesting talk with him this weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, and uh, Temple Whore, are you still doing your special show on the 19th? Or have y'all y'all good again? Are you gonna tell the truth about the bogus motive plot? I'll wait. I'll wait. It's all good. I don't think you're going to do the video because I think you've been paid off again. You got what you want. You wanted this. You didn't want to do that video because if you do the video, then you have to admit your part in the bogus murder plot. And you ain't going to do that. Mm -mm. I keep telling you, you better stop trying to destroy my life with a lie when I can destroy your life with the truth. See, you try to tear me down by telling lies. I'll tear you all the way down by telling the truth. You've been warned. You've been warned. But a hard head make for a soft head. I ain't never came out here and bared false witness against none of you. If I said something about one of you, I produce 
the documents, emails, text messages, screenshots, pictures. I ain't never said nothing about you that I couldn't back up. And when I was ready to go to court to back up everything I said, then everybody had to come to Jesus moment. Because I didn't flinch. I dealt with this while my daddy was dying. While I was in school full time and working full time and helping my youngest child get through his last year of high school. Deal with all of that stuff. Dealing with all that stuff. And I got sued for telling the truth. But I was ready to fight. But let me tell you another thing since people claim I lost the case. There was a sit down with me and the rest of the 18. And then after me and the 18 talk, I talked to the moderators. Daryl, take the mediation. Let this leave this behind you. Move on. Leave it alone. Let it go. That's what was conveyed to me. And moderators, 18, am I lying? Or am I telling the truth? If I'm telling the truth, put a one in the chat, please. I wanted to keep fighting to the bitter end, to the wheels fell off. Then I was going to get up and walk. They were like, Daryl, we got bigger things, more important things to do. Basically, take the deal, go away. Let it go. Thank you. Look in the chat. I ain't got to lie. I ain't got no reason to lie. I ain't got no reason to lie. I ain't start. I ain't been lying. Why am I start now? I ain't reading a lie. But see, the only reason that the rest of the A team and the the moderators and supporters started getting attacked because they knew all their attacks at me, I was just ignoring and laughing at all. So they know because I'm a, what you call an empath or I'm a people person, I love helping people, I love people. They started harassing the rest of the A-team, the moderators, the subscribers. They go down in the chat and see who's over here talking and started doxing them. Oh, they got a channel, let's harass them. Oh, they got a business, let's let's get them a negative rating. Let's just bother these people. So they knew that that would upset me or piss me off. So they started, instead of messing with me directly, they started messing with my friends and my supporters. But guess what? They ain't soft either. They tough just like me. So they started clapping back too. And they started making videos and, and speaking their mind too. Then they realized that wasn't gonna work. Then they had to come up with new strategies. Well, let's put it out there that Daryl stole the money. <gasps> So that's what they did. But I've had this receipt since last June showing that I did pay the money. I just didn't put it out. Why? Because I don't, I didn't feel I should, had to. That's my personal business between me, attorney client privilege. But he got mad, you know, because we had words. Uh, we parted ways, but the judge didn't give him permission to stop representing me during the until the duration of this process because the mediation was put on the table he had to come back and represent me on that mediation which is why there was another five hundred dollars that was handwritten onto that receipt so now we have no dealings other than me paying that balance off that's it so i don't care what you read on pacer i don't put my documents my response to that whole fuckery I faxed and I sent over a certified copy to the judge himself, to his chambers. His clerk got stamped it. And that's that's all I need. I don't need nothing on paper. I deal with jokers offline. So I don't have to sit here and go back and forth. Oh, well, Daryl Pacer say this. I got so sick of people. Talking, well, that's not what's on paper. And that's not what I heard. You lost. You lost. Okay. You say I lost. What did I lose? There's no judgment against me. Don't believe my word for it. Call 
the clerk of his court and say, is there a judgment against Mr. Moore? No. Call him. Don't take my word for it. Don't even take the word of your, your people that you rock with over there. Call for yourself. The number has been posted all. In fact, I'm going to give it to you. You can call yourself. The number is area code 216-357-7112. Call them. Call them and ask for yourself. Call them and ask for yourself. But we're going to deal with them jokers offline right here. You send that to Marcellus. I ain't touching the money. You send it to Marcellus. That's all you need. I I ain't uh. I deal with this one over here. This is for my film project, Invisible Man Film. That's my cat. I'm making movies. I'm not going no more of these stupid videos. I know some of you, you here for the for the drama and and the and the back and forth beefing. I'm not doing that no more. I'm a filmmaker. I'm going to be interviewing people like I did with my fraternity brother as a recording artist. In fact, I'm going to be interviewing my son, sir, because he's a recording artist. He's traveled all over. Hell, he's even been in your state uh, working down in Texas. He's been coast to coast. I'm going to interview him. I'm going to interview other recording artists, actors, filmmakers, entertainers, comedians, politicians, public uh, figures, doctors, lawyers, Indian chiefs. I'm, I'm doing all of that. That's the content I'm doing. I'm going to be doing mini, what's called mini documentaries. I'm going to be interviewing people and highlighting them, telling their, their human interest stories. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not fooling with y'all. Ten years from now, y'all will still be broke, bitter, and disgusted. I'm not going to waste my talent, my time, or my energy on you. Because once we deal with y'all, offline, that's it. I, I'm, I'm pivoting and shifting my uh, platform. I'm dealing with quality people with something to say and a story to tell. And that ain't y'all. So the special ed sector, the short bus with the tenant windows and the wheelchair lift sector, that's y'all go over there. And all the people that support them, follow them and cash out them, you're going over there. Let me tell you what y'all doing. The people over there that support y'all, I'm talking to y'all right now. I'm not talking to them. By default, because you subscribe to them and you give them cash outs and support them, by default, you are supporting prostitution, drug use, criminal activity, sexual misconduct, stealing and lying. That's what you are supporting. By being subscribed to the people over there, that is what you support. So that means if you support that, that means you approve of that. You approve of uh, sexual abuse of, of children. You support uh, people in assaulting their, the grandmothers of their children uh, and being a fugitive from justice. You support prostitution in a parking lot in the middle of the day. You support drug use online and offline. You support fraud, money laundering, check, writing bad checks assaulting people. That's what you support. So that means if you support them doing that, that means you are also out there doing that. And we ain't about that over here. Over here, we have helped people get their medicine. We've helped people pay their bills. We've helped people who were dealing with the death of a loved one get through it. That's what we've been doing. People that have something to eat, even though they turned on us. We've helped them get some food so they wouldn't starve while they're in there drinking $15, drinking cannabis-infused wines and $15 cheese and crackers. Yeah, we've helped people like that. We helped a lady get her son out of prison, and she won't even fucking return my calls now. Mm, make it make sense. After other people had the story and wouldn't help. And before the celebrities got involved, when we was out here doing a grassroots movement, now, you act like I don't exist. That's what we do over here. That's what we do. So you can't even compare to the type of people we got over here. There you go. You have at it.
Aha. Uh, I got something for you, sir. Since you're playing my live, Texas Penal Code 42 dash, I'm sorry, 42.07. Texas harassment laws, criminal charges, and penalties in Texas. Harassment is a misdemeanor offense in which one person is accused of purposely annoying another person, usually by phone or email. Hmm. Hmm. Well, doggy. Well, well, doggy. Well, well, doggy. Mm -mm -mm. So anyway, yes, indeed. I've been out here one hour, and that's all I'm going to do. Because I'm not going to be talking over and over and over and over and over and over. I came up here, as usual, with the evidence. My moderators confirmed by putting a one in the chat that they have read the document that I really did submit to the court, a document that I will never read publicly. The judge has it, certified mail, facts, and a jump drive of all the videos. That's why the parking lot hooker took his videos down because he's an employee of the plaintiff that sued me. But they, to save face, they were, well, I took them down. No, you didn't take them down. YouTube took them down. YouTube took them down. And then it was made to, to let you know that it would behoove you to keep your mouth shut about the defendant because you're an employee of the plaintiff. But I didn't say all that. I just let you run with your lie. I knew the truth, and that was all that mattered. But it got to a point where I know I've always known there's a spy over here. More than one. I've always known that. But I used it to my advantage because sometimes I would intentionally tell the person that I suspected of being a spy the wrong stuff on purpose. And then yeah, and they go back and tell y'all. Then like an idiot, you would say it. And then I would laugh because that let me know that that was the person I sent the information to through. And there's another one still lurking around, working on nailing it down, though. But I have my suspicions. But you know how I operate. I'm going to wait until I have an airtight evidence and then I'm going and then I'm going to drag them for Phil all across these YouTube streets as you hood people say. But until then, I'm going to pretend like I don't see nothing, don't know nothing and I'm going to just play dumb because they think I'm dumb and I'm going to play dumb right along with them. But I'm going to deal with them. And when people say, oh, well, why would you ask Daryl Anything he all he gonna do is lie anyway. And if you one of them fake friends like that, you gone too. But it's all good. It's all good. I am not mad. Cause see, some people come in your life for a reason and a season. Everybody's not meant to be with you for the duration. Some people have a, a assignment for a short time, and when their assignment is complete, it's time for you to part ways. That's life. Thank you. That is it. That is it. That is it right here. Guess what? I'll be dealing with it offline. Offline. See, you fail to realize, sir, I'm a paralegal. I read the law. I went to school for undergrad and graduate. So I got five, six years worth of legal experience. But I guess smoking a blunt and twirling a sign or trying to get a job at a weed dispensary makes you more qualified than me. We shall see. We shall see. But anyhow, I don't steal. I ain't a liar. I produce a receipt to show that I did, in fact, pay my attorney. I have a balance. That wasn't none of your business that I had a balance to. All you need to know is I did, in fact, make a payment with the money that was given to me. 
And if you think I'm going to betray the trust of the people that support me and steal money, when I'm out here working sun up to sun down, still got on the clothes I was working in, why would I do that? If I could just lay up and, and steal, why would I go to work? I could just steal and lie like the people over there. I ain't got to go to work the punch no clock. I ain't got to go out here and notarize documents, be a process server, officiate weddings. I ain't got to do all that. Drive Uber. Uh, make movies. Oh, uh, any, any hustle I can think of. If I was stealing, why would I work? I'm a hustler. I am a hustler, but I'm a legal hustler. I got 1099s. I'm self-employed. If I was stealing, why would I have my, my, in my, in my dining room licensed to uh, officiate weddings, licensed as a notary? A medical license. I'm uh, not a medical license. I'm licensed to work in the medical field in the state of Ohio. I couldn't have all that if I was a criminal. If I was a thief and a liar, I couldn't have all of that. License to carry a firearm. License to uh, sworn oath office to be a process server. You can't go before a judge and get sworn in as a, a process server if you got a felony or if you got open warrants and arrest records. You can't do that. But if I was out here stealing lust, lying, and hustling, I wouldn't be doing all that. Make it make sense. If you're going to tell a story, I'm going to tell the truth. If you tell the truth, ain't nothing I can say. But you look like a fool lying on me, saying I stole money that was raised to help me fight and to keep my name and reputation intact. By just the definition of that, I was petitioning to get donations so that I could defend my name and reputation. So why would I then take the money that was helping me defend my name and reputation and, and trick off with it? Because that would, in fact, make me a liar. They accused me of lying. I raised money to fight them to show that I wasn't lying. So why would I steal the money that was going to help me prove that I'm not a liar? Make it make sense. And if you do that, there's some underwater land I can sell you. at the bottom of Lake Erie. And there's a place called Atlantis. I got the deed to that property as well. You know, oh, he broke. He ain't paid nobody. He ain't got no. The average Uber driver makes $25 an hour. And here in town this weekend is the NBA All-Star Game. Do you know how much money going to be made in three days? Driving Uber. Young Jeezy, some rapper, you know, Jeezy, he got a concert here. The tickets start out at $137. To, you have to buy a table. The tables start at $3,000 and go up to $8,000. All this money in town, and I'm driving Uber. Y'all making fun of me for having a legit hustle. Uber is a part-time hustle. And I'm going to make a killing on the part-time hustle. Yeah, not including the tips that they give you in Uber. A person, three, four hours, you'd have made you two, three hundred dollars. Just driving on the weekend, Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday night, you can make you two, three hundred dollars each night. Two days. But but you don't think like that. But see, you can't do that because you ain't got no, no transportation. But you can sit up and make fun of somebody. Oh, you the old man. I make more than that. Boy, please. You're in a, in a one-bedroom apartment on some Ikea furniture with three dogs smoking reefers and ain't got no vehicle. Catching a bus to a job interview to a job that you'll never get. You have anger issues and drug habits. You've been mentally ill a long time. But I'm going to talk to your daddy about you this weekend, though. Mm -hmm. I found him. I, I gave him my number. We're going to talk this weekend, me and him. Brian Sr. 
negate this. It's a good, it's a good side hustle. Trust me. And if you really want to get down, do Lyft and Uber at the same time. So if one ain't popping, the other one be popping. You'll make your money. I promise you. But anyway, thank you for coming. I want to clear that up. Ain't no thieves and liars over here. Not a one. And for the record again, you see it in the ticker tape? Please donate $20.88 to our legal fund. We are fighting cyber bullies and liars offline. Cash out, dollar sign, Marcellus McMillan. I am not handling any of the money. Do not send the $20.88 to me. Send it to Marcellus McMillan. If you cash out me anything, it's for you wanting to give me something, which I greatly appreciate because I like money. Everybody do. They're working. I like money. But yeah, that's me right here. That's for my film project. The snowstorm took me out, so I couldn't shoot in January. Had to delay it. Now, weather getting better. And my cameraman is getting better. So I'll be shooting soon. Doing a, a film short called Feel My Pain. And I'm going to put the casting notice up here again. And uh, yeah. Let's see. Is this it? Nope. Uh, da, 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 da. There it is. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Casting notice. Looking for voiceover talent. If one of these is you, email me at my email that's on the screen. Uh, I'll send you a copy of the script and you record yourself in a video reading the lines. Uh, if you got some children, I'm looking for a young lady, ages seven to nine, or someone that can play a seven to nine year old girl. She can be a little older. Uh, someone that's an African American female, ages 25 to 40. A teacher, Caucasian, male or female, ages 35 to 50. Uh, somebody that's a male, ages 18 to 50, they can play the neighbor. Uh, football coach, male, ages 35 to 55. Holler at me. And to be a part of my project, you will get an IMDB credit. And what are you saying, Daryl? What is an IMDB credit? International Movie Database. So, you know, when you look up all of my acting credits, it's on that database. And from the rest of your life, you can say, hey, I'm a professional actor. Here's my IMDB credit. So yeah. But holla at your boy. Friday night, Kim, I'm going to let you know I'm putting you on the spot. I want you to host Friday Night Live because I'm going to be working the all-star festivities and I'm going to be driving in and out uh, on the road. So I'm going to be on my phone while I'm in the car. So I want you to host because Roxanne did it last time. I did it this past week. I want you to do it this time. So if you can't do it, thank you, Legatha. I love a lot of the tickets too. That got me my big break. So if you can't do it, let me know. And then I'll work something out, uh, you know, with Marcellus or Roxanne. Somebody, somebody gonna do it. Somebody gonna do it. Somebody, somebody, somebody. And I'll pop in and out because I can't let that money pass me. Because there's some big ballers and half a looting folks up in here this weekend. And I'm going to get my piece of the pie. You want you want to hear that? Uh, she nurses. Let me see. Okay. I like giving requests like that. Okay. Kim has a shirt with that on it. But uh, Christine's going to send it out to her. Uh, so be on the lookout, Kim. Hold on. Here you go, she nurses. Kim, I'ma get them niggas. Kim, I'ma get them niggas. Kim, I'ma get them niggas. Hey y'all, I'ma get them niggas, and I'm coming. Legatha, what request are you talking about? Now you got to have me scroll all the way back up here. Uh, oh, that was that's what you wanted to hear too. Oh, the, oh, which one, Legatha? Which one are you talking about?
Because there's certain stuff I can't play no more. Other people can, but you know, just not me. What parody? Oh, okay, I got you. I got you, Legate. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Oh, here we go. In the criminal justice system, sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. On the internet, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the A Team. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> oh y'all got me cutting up. Hold on, let me see. I got to go through my archive here. Hold on. Okay. Blogger got me. Little 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 blogger got me. Y'all get out of here, man. Y'all got me cutting up. Y'all got me cutting up. But yeah, I, I, I'm not a thief and I'm not a liar. Y'all can go somewhere with that bullshit. Really. You've seen a receipt and my moderators and the rest of the team got a copy of what's on these, this right here that I sent to the judge. Faxed it and sent it certified mail. So I'm not going to entertain this. I didn't put nothing on paste. I sent it to the source. I didn't upload nothing for the whole world to see. If I want the whole world to see, I did a video and read it. I sent it to the person that needed it, which was the judge. And for all of you that have written letters on my behalf to the judge, explaining to them how I've been harassed since the uh, mediation was signed by me, I appreciate it, but there's more work to be done. Please continue to write the judge and explain what's been going on with me. Please continue writing those letters. Please do. I appreciate you. There are people that have wrote letters for me that aren't even hardly even watch the shows that much. But because they, they didn't like what was being done to me, they wrote letters. And then there are some people who promised to write a letter and hadn't done nothing. And that's OK, too, because the right people wrote the right letters the right way. And the word got came down. And, but there's more work to be done because they're still bothering me. And I am not going to rest until we deal with this offline the right way. So thank you. And y'all love you. Uh, we'll be on somebody's channel Friday. Uh, but I'm going to be out there working and peeking in and cutting up. Uh, but get you some rest. Love your family. Love yourselves. Love each other. Good night. And I'm out of here. Doobie doo, doobie doo.